And so people just need to complain about things and that's when you get into like, well, what if I feel like I was born a fish and there's no restaurants for fish and there's no bathrooms for fish. I need a sign that says that fish can go here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm going to be reacting to Candice Owen roast American most sport generation. I think this is Gen Z guy. But like, for me, I will say, I don't think that it was fault. <laughs> we are though, so, chance. Mm -hmm. Guys, let's get straight into this. If you are living and breathing in America right now, you are a part of a generation that is the most spoiled and privileged that has ever lived on the in the face of the planet in all of yes. human history. And what happens yes. when you are actually remarkably privileged is that you start looking to complain. Right. It's, it's like, like when life gets really good is when you start complaining about really small things, unimaginable battles that you're having today. If you just have a conversation with your grandparents. Right. And what they had to face growing up. That's always my litmus test when people ask me, oh, my gosh, Candace, how do you deal with all the attacks, the media, people tweeting at you and saying mean stuff? I'm like, man, imagine my if I had to say to my grandfather that the thing that was so tough was I. I opened the internet and someone said something mean to me. Like it's just, it's so ridiculous, we're ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Like I can just opt out. I don't need to be on Twitter, I don't need to be yeah. on Instagram. It's like granddad was living in the segregated South when he grew up and I'm sad about a tweet. Like it doesn't, it doesn't work for me, right? It just doesn't work. And so the first thing to do is, is, to, is to recognize that all of us are tremendously privileged to even be having these debates, these abnormal debates that I genuinely believe sometimes are being driven out of a boredom. I think it's natural for every generation to want to believe that they have triumphed something, right? Like you're just sort of like, we are the generation that ended segregation. Yay, go 1960s. Uh, we are of a generation that protested and put an end to the Vietnam War. Yay, go 1970s. Then you get to now, and it's really, we're kind of doing okay, right? Like, we're like, ah, things are looking pretty good. And so people just need to complain about things, and that's when you get into like, well, what if I feel like I was born a fish, and there's no restaurants for fish, and there's no bathrooms for fish? I need a sign that says that fish can go here, right? <laughs> or how else will I feel like I'm welcome into this unique stall? And that's where we're at. So we should stop taking ourselves seriously as like a human race. That's, that's like my general perspective on everything that's going on. And it's interesting also to consider psychology because I, and I was just tweeting about this because it's only until you are removed from the system, which is to say you guys are not yet outside of the system, right? We get kicked out of our parents' house, kindergarten, and then like suddenly you're in high school, you've got your friends, you get in the swing of things, and your guidance counselor is like, no, 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 if you don't go to college, you're a failure, you're gonna fail in life, right? You better sign up and take out a bunch of loans and something that you absolutely cannot afford and you don't even understand these 3,000 page documents, especially if you're like me and I come as a first generation college kid, uh, my, Mother didn't even graduate high school. So you imagine me signing up for loans and no idea what I was looking at. And you are willing to go into debt because there's this kind of pressure to just go to college, even though you have no idea what you want to do. You have no idea. I had no idea what I was doing, but I knew that I had to do the thing because the guidance counselors were telling you like you'd be a failure if you did it otherwise. And they sort of get into, into college and you don't realize it yet, but you're getting an education, you're learning some things, but you're not getting a true understanding uh, because a lot of these universities very much exist to tell you what to think and not how to think. Hmm. Guys, this was a lot. But for me, I feel this generation of sports, yes, but like, I think that things that happened in the 90s that are still happening, like human trafficking, selling of drugs, it still is a and I will say, like, I feel, you want to look at, I feel a lot of things are happening, to be honest, when we say Gen Z, Gen Z. I feel it's, I feel the U.S. have it easy, I will say, because the government or the system have built it in a way for people that, more like a convoy looking out for his weakest link. Outside America, people, America, UK, Canada, Canada is also having it up, and people have to work like what well, because the standard of living is very high in Canada and when you move to places like Asia, Africa, you really don't hear about a lot of things like I want to become a fish, I feel like I'm a cat. 
I want to turn to a woman. Like, it's there, but like, it's really, I, I would say it's really one part in America. Like, yes, it's, it's maybe because they talk about it a lot and media is not helping because media is like pointing figures to America and a lot of countries, I'll say, are like looking at them as maybe because you have a lot of money and a lot of resources that you don't know what to do. With. You don't know what to do with it and you start fighting your own self because this is there was a movie i watched and the guy was like if you don't show the people we are fighting against something they'll fight against themselves that is human nature and it's it's true because that's what is happening because more like america is trying to tell them so but guys, i think about this video they should like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys best